Good evening, everybody. Good evening, gamers. Good evening, kindred. And good evening, any quildren tuning in today. Today, whoa, oh, oh, God. Today, Ike and I are going to be finishing. What the fuck is happening? There we go. Today, Ike and I are going to be finishing The Crooked Man. Say hello, Ike. Hello, everyone. Yay! <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, my... Watch um... me be muted yet again. No, 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 you are not muted. I checked. I fully... <laughs> you checked this I, time. Okay, good. I checked. I ran the numbers. I did the data. And it turns out you're, 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 you're audible. Yes, everyone's saying hello. Let's go. My, my technical prowess has not failed me today. Right, hold on. We all have those moments where tech just decides to not obey us. Except for Shu, I feel like he just commands an immense mastery over anything technological. He just looks at his computer and he says, Hey, lend me your power. Hey. It just turns on and does what he needs it to. <laughs> he says, Hey, computer, um, can you print something? And the, he doesn't have a printer. The computer is just like, okay. And it just kind of like spits out whatever he wants it to print. And he's like, it's like phases through the screen like that chick from the ring. <laughs> thank you guys so much for renewing your memberships. And thank you, Pico, for a couple of lovely supers. Hello. And thank you, Kay, as well. All right. So, last time. What happened last time? We explored... Somebody the... said lol. <laughs> Somebody said lol. I think his name might have been Ray Twain. Um, we, uh, we, we enjoyed The Crooked Man. I took way too long to finish a puzzle. And overall... It was a good, old-fashioned romp with the boys. But today, we're going to be finishing this exception... <laughs> the amount of 101s in chat. Um, I know. It's been showing up in my stream as well. Today, we will be attempting to finish The Crooked Man. A strange horror RPG that is more character-focused than ones we've seen before. And much longer than ones we've seen before. So, without further ado, let's get into the game. Date at seven three twenty three. Let's go. Are you gonna share it? Oh yes. <laughs> I needed to. Ignan and are. antique looking glass right. doll. Thank you guys for the supers. All right, can you see that? Yes, I can. All right, I'm gonna turn the game up a little bit. It's extremely quiet for me. Hold on. There we go. All right, well, let's move, everybody. So when we left off, we arrived at a hospital, did we not? We did, we did. And I remember we were saying, because first it was the uh, the hotel, 
Then it was the school, and we were like, yep, yeah, you know, the last place you want to go to in a horror movie or a horror is entertainment anything is you, you don't want to go to a school, a hotel, or a hospital. And then all of a sudden it was like, hey guys, let's go to that, to those exact locations in order. Let's yeah. <laughs> shit. Well, all right then. I guess that settles it. So, let's continue. So we literally have only been here for a little bit. Eeknan, thank you very much. Eeknan, is that a rainbow? Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. I think there's a rainbow incoming. There's a rainbow coming around the mountain. Uh, whoa. You okay there? Yes. Yes. Having to sort phone things, but it's all good now. All right. I'm having a little bit of a hard time seeing the game over your shoulder, Vox. <laughs> really? I'm only covering up like a little bit of it. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me just hold on, Ike. Hold on, Ike. You can, you can. Hang on a minute, Ike. You can sit him. You, you, you can you can come you can come up next to me like that, okay? There we are, much better. Yay. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Ike. All right, uh, let me just quickly address. Uh, we got an Akaspa from who's that? Uh, from Angels Don't Kill 19. Thank you very much. Finally got a live stream. Hope you have a good day, a good week, and a good rest of February to everyone here. And let us not forget. Ray Twain says, "Lol, stay tuned for his new work, Lamau, and eventually <laughs> Ruffle Mau." <laughs> 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 that was good. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Oh, Eknan, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Eknan. All right. I'll I'll wait to see the end of that rainbow. Sena, thank you for the supers. And without further ado, let's move on. Oh. The door to the outpatient clinic. It has a number lock. Interesting. So already, you know, my worst fear, we're having to find numbers. Yeah, numbers and us did not get along last they time around. <laughs> Keyholes painted over. A lot of these places are painting over keyholes. Why is that? They really aren't. Like, I know I, like, yammered on and on about Silent Hill last time around, but, like, we're really going through, like, all the motions because these exact kind of places tend to show up in the first couple of games. Mm hmm And also, like, the main character looks very Silent Hill to me. Like, mm. it just sort of, I don't know, it has that vibe. The operation of the elevator seems to be stopped at floor four. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there's dark red writing on the bed, likely blood. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Mm. Speak not the watchers. Draw not the watchers. Sculpt not the watchers. Them. Who's them? Perhaps we shall have to find out. Uh oh. Maybe David was just clumsy and he just got some he just got some blood on his fingers and he just went like Pfft, just kinda of got it off himself as he left. Already they're letting us explore a lot more of this place than the school right away. Light, the latest ones are ten years old. Damn. Yeah, this place has given me the creeps already. Mm, there's one of those books again. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin unto his nest again, I shall not live in vain. Emily Elizabeth Dickinson. Hmm. So, yeah, it's, that including the um, the thing from earlier, like the, it was a noise. It was like a something like that. I think that was just like the sliding door. There's a cat! Where is he? Okay, never mind, that's absolutely a cat. Meow! Hello! Hello! Let me just check, see if we've, um... Grandma, thank you for the super. Uh, Jen, hang on. Oh, oh, eh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, nice. Keyhole's painted over. There's a cat, it says meow. <laughs> no! No! He really said meow and then dipped. 
dead animals. Oh god. Were these its kittens? Were they cut out of its stomach? Who could have... Was it you? Jesus. Was it you, you son of a bitch? Damn. I'm sorry you guys had to see that. That's fucking awful. Seems to be stuck on floor four. So if we can get to floor four, then we'll be able to activate the elevator, I suppose. Some kind of dried fluid. It might be vomit. Yeah. Ooh. Hello. What there was the? a there was a spectre in the chair. Solitary chair. A dirty bed. The shelves are empty. That's my band name. Found a scrap from a notebook. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always. Only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. Interesting. Mmm. Good thing David brought his cup of tea. Tuscade. It's his notebook. I doubt he was here. Is he still here now? Ray Twain says no. Safro <laughs> and uh, Dregiki, thank you for the super. Thank you for the supers, plural. It's locked. Keyholes painted over. Who paints over keyholes? Like, when something's abandoned, you wouldn't think that they would take the time to paint over the keyholes. Maybe during demolition or, like, whatever, it was a health hazard. Maybe. Elevator trunk. It's locked. Hmm. Alright, so there's something in there we can use to, to activate the elevator, I suppose. Interesting. And this is the this is the top floor. Okay. Well, we really haven't found anything apart from the notes, so I guess we might just have to head back down. Unless there's a mm. button that activates the elevator? I wouldn't think so. There's nothing to really press here, apart from the trunk, but which is, which is locked. Me and Yang, thank you very much. Hmm. Did we check? I can't help but feel like the cat might have distracted me. I might have missed a few rooms. 303, 302. Okay, yeah, so it's sort of the same naming conventions as, mm. as the hotel, really. Yeah, we already went here. How interesting. <laughs> Chad, I have I have an interesting story for you. Uh, this morning, uh, because I, I said that I was trying to move, um, we had a house viewing and some people came over to come check out the house. And uh, I woke up pretty close to when they arrived and I panicked and I realized I hadn't done laundry in a little while. And the only shirt that I had on hand right before I went to go down and greet these people was a bright red and white floral Hawaiian shirt. And I just, I buttoned it up, and that, with my gray sweatpants, I just went downstairs, dressed like a dad on a golfing trip, and I just said, Hi everyone, welcome to the house, Come do come on in, and uh, yeah, that was embarrassing, but it was funny. Cardboard box, it says lost and found on the top. Some sort of equipment, a copy machine. Why are some of these tables gunked? Yeah, I was just about to mention that. Did you check the lockers? Oh, no, I didn't. Nothing inside. Hmm. Wonder if there's anything inside. If there's simple locks, maybe I can get it open without the key. Hmm. I don't open without the key. I mean, I would think if it's a simple lock, like you can just kind of spin the, the wheels on it and... <laughs> Maybe smash it with a fire extinguisher. Oh. No, I think nah. it's letting us pick it up. That's a good idea, though. Hmm. Maybe we should just try and, like, knock it over. Maybe there's, like, shelves of materials. Uh... Empty trash can. I love this game's vernacular, like the way it'll be like, ah, this and such. I'm like, yeah. And such. 
wheelchair. There's a map of the inpatient building. Right. This will help. God, I, need, I need to shut up about Silent Hill, but like... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all it's, relevant. It's very, very similar. Mm. The day room, the counseling room, the dining room, and the lobby. Okay. I am deeply upset that there is no room 101. Oh, yeah, it starts... Yeah, it starts with two. Damn. It starts with the bloody nursing station. Damn. Pimchu, <laughs> thank you for the super. What did you say? Oh, good luck. For, uh, good luck from your um. Oh, good luck. Good luck on your job interview. They ask for a what is that? Liktatil. What does that say? From from Ike. Oh, it's Swedish. Liktatil. <laughs> Yay! Good luck with your job interview, dude. Key box locked with a passcode. All buttons pushed. Oh, oh, it, oh it's Ooh. one of the... I, okay, these, these are really satisfying. Um, all right, yeah, on. they are, they are. Doesn't mean them. We gaming. We are gaming today, fellas. Got the cafeteria key, got an elevator trunk key. Let's ele elevator. Did I say elevator kunk? <laughs> gunk. Elevator gunk. Yeah, somebody sort out the elevator gunk. Did you know that elevators sweat? At least, at least, at least, at least that's at least that's the, that's true of one elevator I've I've met recently. I don't get it. What? I'm talking about Folger. <laughs> Oh! He's just a, I just like comparing him to random appliances. Got an AED. Interesting. Uh, an automated external defibrillator. That's what that is. Only has a little battery left. Ah, yes. We should use this I on think, the locker. I think Fulger is nice, if a little bit cranky at times. I can understand that. It wasn't very nice to me. An automated external defibrillator. The battery shows it at about half charge. Okay. All right, we also got uh, a, key, a cafeteria key. So we can go and check that, I guess. We were making Majora's Mask references at each other earlier, and I don't think anybody got it because everybody was just very confused. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Unlocked the cafeteria. Staying with the white cups. A dirty teacup. Empty cans. I was here. <laughs> 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 That's um since we last played they did the, uh, released an update that added the the cans of the cans of empty drink a reference to Ike Eveland. Sorry, I didn't mean that I, didn't, me. I didn't I didn't know you were haunting the game. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm haunting the game, Vox. Next thing you know, you're going to walk into a room and just going to be spelt out to death. <laughs> We're gonna get to the final room in the game and written in blood on the walls is just gonna be he says lol. <laughs> okay, this is stained white cups. Right, so we got a small wire now. Meh. You can pick that, uh, like you said, to pick the lock, maybe. Yeah, oh shit, you're right. I was thinking, I was thinking maybe something, I don't know why I thought something to do with a defibrillator. That'd probably kill me. Yeah. Yay! A note about a number lock. 4489. Alright, where was the number lock? That's That wasn't this thing. There was another, because we already yeah. got that open. There's another number lock somewhere. We've got a... Oh, there we Did go. Did you ever try picking locks with anything? No, never. I've never got... I've never, I've never tried it. Seems cool. Mm. Um... This has a number lock. I guess it's a different number lock. Mm. I only tried once when I couldn't get, like, a, lo a locker open. At the end of the day, I needed to do a manual override, as we call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right, so Moral of the story, keep track of your keys, everybody. Yeah, please do keep track of your keys. Don't just try to remember the last pair of pants you took off that has the keys in them.
<laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Amelie, thank you for the super. Apparently demons lay eggs. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't think I don't think I lay eggs. I respect I respect the game theory though. Hello internet, welcome to game theory. Does Vox Akuma lay eggs? Burning questions indeed. So where do we use this bloody number lock? I guess maybe we use the the note next to the door? Because I, I don't know anywhere else that has a number lock. Hmm. No. How interesting. Yeah, where else would a number lock come into play? Not here, there's nothing in here. We've got, um... Hmm. I am ready to start running around out of desperation and not knowing where to go. Adurion, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for that disturbing super. Uh, the, the, Maybe. Oh my god. Is something going That's on? A lot time? of noise. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Nah, nah, it happens to me all the time. Oh, wait, I think I missed the super from uh, uh, Lays. Thank you very, very much. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Glad to be a little bit of background noise for you. I want to activate it. We've got the defib. What does the defib do to us? Hmm. Jules and Curses and Andre Jean. Thank you very much. Looking forward to Elden Ring? Yes, I'm very much looking forward to Elden Ring. Um, I'll, I'll just say this now to avoid um, any confusion. I'm thinking I'm just going to play it by myself. Um, I was thinking about streaming it, but at the end of the day, um, I'm a lot more just sort of... It's a special game, I think. Especially, have you guys seen the reviews? Oh my god. Like, people who don't even like Souls-like type games are saying it's one of the best games they've ever played. I just... That's something I need to I need to do for myself. So I reckon I'm just gonna I'm just gonna maybe I'm just gonna find time off stream to just kind of curl up and cuddle up and play it by myself. But what that also means is that you won't have to have the game spoiled for you if you want to keep up with my streams. So you know it's a win win. Hmm. I know that Oliver Senpai is also really excited for it. I mean, everyone I know is like. Can you believe it got a fuck like it, it on PS5 it has the same meta score as fucking Breath of the Wild like it's 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 90 fucking 7 that's not that's not common that makes me so excited still got the lighter yeah i'm lost i'm lost maybe there's something under the, the thing under the counter no Well, Safro and Yuki Evelyn thank you very much over position these no shot the on the topic of FromSoft games, I feel like uh, their later stuff, uh, like uh, more recent, have been like polished to a mere shine. Whereas like uh, the first Demon Souls and Dark Souls, where they, like there was a bit of jank to them. Yeah. But am I the only one that thinks that the jank sort of adds to the charm of games from like the PS2, PS3 era? I kind, I kind of tend to agree. I think the jank of Dark Souls definitely adds to the challenge and makes it makes it quite a bit more interesting. Um, but then, then also, I think that. It's, it's because each game has its own, has a very unique appeal. Like if you want something that's very sort of archaic, hard to understand, sort of like you're trying to open a puzzle box that doesn't really want to make sense to you, Demon's Souls and, um, and Dark Souls 1 are really good for that. But then Dark Souls 3 sort of makes the formula, it doesn't make it more accessible because while they polish it up and make the game more reliable, the enemies become like six times as fucking vicious and... It's like they're all they're all really different. I think the perfect middle ground is Bloodborne because that game has plenty of jank, but is also polished enough that the jank is mostly just funny. Hmm. 
Although there are some things with AoE attacks where you'll get hit with like the dust from a blast attack, like you're well, well far away from it, and the dust will hit you for the full damage of the blast. So like it will have worn <laughs> off and then a piece of dust will hit you in the foot and you'll just go like, ah, and die immediately. Um, yeah, I'm lo oh, okay, this is the counseling room. This isn't, this is locked. All right, so that's something we can find. Um, we just need to find, like, we just need to find something for that bloody number lock. Number lock note, it reads 4489. And there's only one number lock, but we, it seemingly is not letting us use it for that. So I'm not sure where to go. Hmm. Four oh one. Hang on a minute. Four four eight. Nine. It's not to do with like the names of rooms. It wouldn't be. Bum, bum, bum. Maybe you need to like re-examine things in rooms Maybe. you've already been to. Maybe like you skipped like one item to examine or something. That could be it. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm going back to the cat room. I'm sorry. Thing. Okay. It was in there the it dead is. Oh, I kept going back to the room and thinking like, oh god, chat, I'm sorry. Chat, I'm sorry. Yumishim, thank you for the super. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond City Lines, take what's inside. Mm. Uh, sorry. Got a bloody key. There it is. What's the... What? Is that in the game? I hate that. Oh, is this just straight it, up some kid? It's just a regular ass child. Oh my god, okay. that, that was terrifying. I that oh. compared to like the relatively bit crushed sound from the rest of the game, I thought that like, for there was a brief moment I thought a real child had just busted into my room and was like, "Here is my handle. Here is my spout." Holy shit! Amen, Ice. Uh, Feronia and Angels Don't Kill. Thank you guys ever so much for the supers. You guys are great. What is the in about like child voices in places they shouldn't be? <laughs> that is just I think, terrifying. I think it's like a really like it, it gets to the core of you because I think on instinct we we want to we want to we like if if we're in a dangerous place and we hear kids we're not only like a that's really weird and shouldn't be here b holy shit like it, it sort of upsets like the part of you that knows that kids need to be kept safe you know and so like that makes you scared as well even though you have no and so it kind of kind of adds to the horror in a way i guess leah and um a986474. Thank you very much for the supers. What are you doing here? Hmm? Are your mom and your dad not around? Did you did you come here alone? Uh, are you mute perhaps? Mama said not to talk to strangers. Ah, well then I'll introduce myself. I'm David. I'm 26 years old. I live kind of far from here. My hobby is watching baseball, I guess. Oh, I like baseball too. Mama gave me a glove, so I play every Saturday. Oh, I'm jealous. Hey, so what's your name, little guy? Fluffy. Fluff. Fluffy? Fluffy. That's your name. Yeah. Mama says my hair's fluffy like a towel. So fluffy. I see. Where is your mama, Fluffy? I don't know. You don't know? Did you not come here with her? Um, well, we were talking about going back home, and I, and I was walking right by Mama, and then she went to get something she forgot. I didn't want to wait outside, so I came in here to sing, but Mama hasn't come back. So you got lost. Is your house close to here? Hmm, my house is close to school, but you can't see school from here. 
So I guess it's probably far. Right. You really have, you're really something to have waited here all alone. Right, a kid lost late at night. I think there's a sheriff's office nearby. Maybe I should take him there. Hey, Fluffy, it's scary in the dark, isn't it? How might you go with me to Mr. Policeman? Okay, let's go. No! He's like, no, I don't want that. <laughs> what's, what's wrong, Fluffy? I'll, I'll, have, I'll have Mr. Policeman show you a patrol car. Do you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're the scary cat, aren't you? Meow. <laughs> I'm gonna give chase, I guess. Then again, maybe his mom will find him. I don't want to be questioned by the sheriff anyway. I'll take him to the sheriff if I see him again. Weird. Not looking forward to having to having to voice a five year old. <laughs> it's just just mm. it's just not really in my skill set. I don't think. I do understand what he meant though, because I've been told that my hair is fluffy. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> Eleanor, thank you very much. All right, save. I wonder where he ran to. Hmm. Is this lock battery operated? It's not working, so the batteries must be dead. Oh, the place is a ba ban oh, banded. You good? Yeah, no, sorry. It's just, uh, you, uh, I felt a burp coming on. I had to be like, Whoop. Cafeteria. Maybe he's looking for food. Yeah, that's where I want to leave my five-year-old son in the abandoned hospital. He's not here. Yeah, where would he have gone to? Uh, hope he doesn't see the dead cat. What if he's the one who did that to the cat? Don't put those ideas in my head, you rat bastard. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> you should, you, you know, you know, one of these days you should make a horror RPG. I have actually thought about it at several points in my life because it is a very interesting way of telling a story. I think, I think, um, I think you do, you do a pretty great job putting those Putting that, putting that novelist pen to something interesting. But there's so much more to a game than just writing a good story. There's yeah. programming, there's game design, there's art, there's music. Mm, yeah, there is, a, there is a lot to it. Maybe, maybe you went to this room? Mm. No! I don't want that. Sadina, thank you very much. Good to see you too. Yeah, so specifically we are looking looking for Fluffy. I'd like to imagine we're looking for Hadri H Hagrid's dog from um, <laughs> Harry Potter. Oh, I suppose you've met Fluffy. I mean, Fluffy is the big three-headed three, uh, three -headed, uh, dog. The other one is like Fang, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Fang's the little one, and then Fluffy is the humongous, terrifying, um, Cerberus-looking motherfucker. Yeah. JS, thank you for the super. Good to see you. And Naomi as well. Thank you very much. Mm. Yeah, we, we've used the key. All we've got now is like the number lock, but... You know, we can't use... We, it says it's battery operate. Okay, okay, wait. Let me check. Let me check. What did that thing say about the the lock? Do you it not it, have a battery? We have a, oh, we have a defib. There you go. You're a smart boy, Ike. I'm a smart cookie. Wunhui, thank you for the super. Put the battery in the lock device. 
All right, so wait, let me just, uh, what does the thing say? Uh, 4489. Yeah, there baby. we are. Yeah, oh, <laughs> got scared. Oh, I'll be right back. Everybody, everybody, Sans is on the phone to him. Let's give him a second. And thank you for the super. I'll just, I'll just give Ike a wee moment. Let him sort out what he needs to sort out. How is everybody in chat doing right now? Are you guys okay? How's everybody doing? <laughs> Let's go and inspect a few things. A hammer. Looks heavy. I don't want to be lugging this around. See if I find somewhere to use it though. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine like as a joke, just having marimba megalovania as your ringtone and then uh, angels don't kill, thank you for the super. And uh, yeah, yeah, thank you for the super. Uh, you just answer the phone to that ringtone, and then all you hear is just... And it hangs up. Like, but, 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 but with this kind of an effect, just like... You know? <laughs> oh my god. Why can't I do it? I'm getting there. <laughs> oh, and oh, Darion, must be an egg so I can make an omelet. I don't know. I don't. I don't have any on me right now. I have a cup of tea, but that's not what you're looking for. What does a vox do? What does a voice demon do while waiting for his novelist to get back from the phone? I was hoping maybe, speaking of Undertale, maybe you can do the thing like with the genocide route where you go into the north wall and then hold down and you just go like the march of death. I just, how quickly can I do this? He's rapidly questioning which way he should go. Ooh. Anna, thank you for the super. Yeah, it is a hammer over there, actually. It is a hammer. Uh, Strange Demi, thank you very much. Oh, Anna, what did you say? Imagine picking up a phone and getting through. <laughs> yeah, crazy. An empty trash can. On key. Ah! Sorry about that. Couldn't help myself. He really got me with the with the sh with the the funky monkey. <laughs> I have food. You got food. Did your delivery get here? Oh, what is it? <laughs> Same as the thumbnail. Oh, guys, the thumbnail is not clickbait. Ike has a burger. It's been like tradition at this point. Like the moment I uh, realized that we were about to go on stream, I was like, got to keep the tradition going. Certainly, my boy. Certainly, certainly, certainly. All right. Keep it moving. The cabinet is locked. There's something on the desk. Got the key to the counseling room. Okay. Let me check. Where was the counseling room? Map of the inpatient building. Counseling room, counseling room. That's floor four. Gotcha. Phoenix, thank you very much. Phoenix, look, look, look. Ronan, Eleanor, thank you very much, guys. And Hibiki, good to see you. Good to see you, Hibiki. Ah, boy. All right, we got two um, shades hanging out here. Two rat bastards. 
Oh, there they go. You get evil. Thank you very much. Just saw a shadow. Was it my imagination? An empty trash can. A broken old refrigerator. Counseling schedules were posted up. There's a lone diary here. Twelve three. So is that the third of third of December or the twelfth of March? Three thirty five p.m. Tape fifteen. Subject visitor A. Garantor for relative in room four o nine. Contents. A visited after A. Oh, A visited after sudden after sudden change in patient's condition. Patient was hospitalized upon identified brain illness. Surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. The patient still thinks of herself, still thinks herself healthy, which causes a great deal of distress. Her memories of A are also vague. A sort A sought counseling on how to cope. The patient misunderstands it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams, her mind unstable. Counseling will likely continue for both. Why does this sound like the mother of the main character? That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, it seems like a eerie reflection. 2, 10, 8, 10 a.m. Tape 16. Subject visitor A. Guarantor for relative in room 409. A visited after the patient's death. He lamented that given she was going to die, he couldn't watch over her at home. He stated that living in itself is not happy. So if life is agony, then wanting death is unavoidable. Should I refuse him as a doctor or tolerate it as a person of dignity? I wish he would come back here, but unfortunately I can't force him. I wonder if this kind of thing happens a lot. Mm -hmm. There's a key in the diary. Got the psychiatry key. Ah, yes. The key to mental health. Counseling schedules are posted up. We already got all these... Choice side, thank you very much. A lot of supers coming in today. Thank you very much. Komori Dean and Yuki Evelyn, thank you guys very, very much. And Angela as well. Thank you guys so much. And Naomi, thank you very much. Okay, so the psychiatry key. That'll probably be relevant to another place down here. Let's have a look. Staff room, director's room. Ooh, oh, nice. Still pretty flowers. Dokito, thank you very, very much. Only a few books here. The Way of a Modern Family, Family and Medicine. A wooden box. There are six indentations on top. Interesting. A diary probably written by the director. I received a puzzle box the other day. Rather interesting thing. To open it, you have to arrange letter pieces to form a word. Of course, I made the keyword my favorite word. That irreplaceable thing which always makes me happy just to say, monkey. It's a six-letter <laughs> word. <laughs> In fact, I should show the box to my daughter. Unbelievable! When I showed my daughter the puzzle box, she hid all the pieces. But well, what's inside isn't really something you use every day, so it's not a huge deal. She actually gave me hints on where they are, but I can't find any. Maybe when I have the time. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> the men's bathroom, the lock is busted. The women's bathroom, the lock is busted. They busted all they busted all of the all of the bathrooms. Mean, thank you very much. Emergency patient transport, door one open. Well, how are we going to transport patients now, huh? Aha. Chemical closet. The door plate is faded and hard to read. Ooh. Okay, thank you very much. Wheelchair. Men's bathroom. Pediatrics. Oh, there he is. Whoop. There you are, Fluffy. Just, don't you know not to wander off alone? I can handle the dark fine. I told you, I'm a big boy. I'm not going to cry like some baby. Wow, you sure do seem brave. I have to admire that. Really? 
Yeah, you're as brave as Captain America. I'm kind of scared of walking in the dark, but here I am looking for someone. If only there was someone here I could depend on. Just my luck. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Oh, really? Wow, what a relief. Thanks. I feel so much safer with you here, Fluffy. I'll protect you, Mr. David. We'll stick together until his mother shows up. If she doesn't, share us off as it is. Yay, we 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 have a we have acquired the child. Yay. <laughs> thing. It's the thingy the doctor uses. I want one. Can I have it? Alright. It's it's I've decided. The child, it's Mickey Mouse. Uh, it's kinda dirty. You probably shouldn't. Medical equipment. What's this stuff? I don't really know either. I measured myself. I measured myself the other day. I'm up to three feet. What about you, Mr. David? I think I'm around six feet. Cool. <laughs> Surgical department. The keyhole is painted over. Ent. I'm enting. Still can't believe that we had to explain that to you. Listen, right? Listen. From the from the Overwatch scene that I came from, inting was just a word for being hyper aggressive, and it was a way of saying that you were being kind of silly, you know, just kind of going in balls to the walls. You weren't trying to kill you. I, I know it comes from League or whatever, but in Overwatch yeah, it always meant for intentionally it, feeding. Yeah, I know, I know that. But in Overwatch it always meant like you know you were going monkey and you were going for a ballsy play where you just jump into the back line and try and kill both supports at once. You're like, I'm inting, I'm inting, I'm inting, and then it would just work. An elect, an elect In my ears, that just sounds like I'm throwing the game. It's like it's, it's, it's like me. <laughs> saying it like it like a shot call. It's like guys, be be ready. I'm throwing. Clip to profit. Thank you very much. An electrocardiogram monitor, medical equipment, medical equipment, an IV stand, a bed. Nothing odd about it. There are things posted on the board, but they're too messy to read. Scalpels and forceps on the cart. What's this thing? Precision medical tools. A device that uses ultrasonic waves. Lots of cool stuff. I'm starting to think about some of the theories, like why we keep running into name and like nameless characters. Yeah, that's, that's true, system. isn't it? We've got Sissy. I have an I have an idea. But I'm not sure if it's right. Well, I mean, earlier I was going on about how we are the crooked man, and I thought it was going to end in the hotel. So, you know, there's no, there's nothing wrong with being wrong. I want to hear it. Mm. Well, there was this one guy in the lawyer space, right? Mm. And his name was, what was it? Oh, yeah, his name was um, D for Dreamer. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, and Sissy, David Fluffy. David also starts with a D. Yeah. And then maybe maybe Sissy this... represents his um his partner, Shirley. Shit, Sissy, Shirley. Maybe Fluffy represents a kid that he... Maybe, maybe... No, I think it's him. As, as a child? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Interesting. Andrea Jean, thank you very, very much. Oh, it's your birthday. Uh, today's my birthday. Can I get a happy birthday, Andrea, and a kiss? Of course. Of course, happy birthday. We don't have much time uh, to talk and read through supers, but uh, hold on. What did, you, what, did, what did you ask for? Oh. Got an F piece. Oh, for the thing. Okay, okay. Yes, good luck with everything you're setting out to do, Andrea. I'm sure it's going to go fine. Ren, thank you for the super as well. Okie dokie. The urinal is a putrid yellow and smells foul. Oh, hi, Mr. Bug! Ugh, there really are bugs. This place is gross. The urinal is a putrid yellow. You gotta go, Mr. David? No, not right now. The urinal is putrid. Stinky! 
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm five years old. <laughs> Stinky. <laughs> I hate that got me. I hate that that got me. Stinky. Yeah, it reeks. Stinky. Bathroom sink somehow the faucets work. I'm really thirsty. Could I have a drink? <laughs> you, you good? Yeah, I'm good. No way, this water's no good. Opth, opth, ophthalmology. The keyhole's painted over. Maternity and gynecology. Uh, what? This is a space baby. A model of an embryo. Oh, it's a model. A okay. baby. <laughs> Looks like a monkey. It does. It absolutely does not look like a monkey, Fluffy. What are you looking at? Yeah, it does not look like a monkey. Well, babies are kind of like that. <laughs> Mysterious machine. Cloak. Beep beep. Don't touch that thing, please. Small shelves or something here. Got a small key. Bookshelf, it hardly has any books. I've right, got a small key now. Ooh. Interesting thing. Medical equipment. Medical equipment. Device uses ultrasonic waves. Small container. X rays. Doesn't seem like there's really much of anything to interact with in these rooms. Mm. Almost just there. Well, like you're still flavor. on the lookout for those letters. Hmm. I want to make sure I examine everything just in case, because you never know. Like what happened in Blank Dream, where there was like that one um, thing where there were the shelves. Oh, seems it leads to the emergency stairs. Okay. And there were all those shelves, and you had to examine every single one to get the solution. Ooh, the bathroom. Hey, there's something over there. Huh? You're right, something stuck in the drain. Got an A piece. Yay. Hey, there it is. Mr. David, I gotta go pee. It, it, okay, I, I guess this is the girls' room, so you should technically go to the boys' one. I'm not sure if it'll flush, though. Okay. Oh, okay, I'll wait here. You can go by yourself, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'll be good. Hey, Fluffy, you okay in there? I'm peeing, hold on. Oh, no. Huh? What is it, Fluffy? Come out already! I can't open the door! Oh no. What? No! It really won't open. Did the door just break or what? No! Fluffy! Mr. David, I can't get out. Am I gonna be stuck here forever? It's okay, Fluffy. I'll, I'll get you out right away. Just give me a second. Save. Yes. Oh, look, we got, we got, we got the boy. All right. Hint paper, bloody key, lights. Uh, yes, let's burn the place down. <laughs> Is there any way like, through one of these we can just like hop over the wall or something? Or, just pull a Mario, jump into the toilet, and <laughs> back with long to jump. The yeah, <laughs> into the next room. All right, the constant crying does make me think that, like, the solution is very much nearby. Oh, what is that? Oh. Found a scrap from a notebook. My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness, but for me, it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self back when I was pure, when I thought everyone still loved me. Christ. It's grim. It's horrible. Neurosurgery. That kind of lines up with what I was thinking earlier. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Should I add a content warning for suicide? Just because it seems to be I mean, quite—it seems to be quite a theme. Hmm. 
I'll do Maybe it just, just like content warning, heavy themes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Because there's a lot going on here. That yeah. will be one moment. I need to use the bathroom. Okie dokie, Ike, you take your time. Yes, just gonna make a wee content warning because it doesn't hurt to be safe. Whoop. Hindeshi. Hindeshi. All right. How we doing, chat? How we doing? Wait, did I... I'm not seeing the pinned message. Where is it? What the fuck? Hang on, hang on. Wait, I thought I pinned it. Hello? Oh, no, there it is. No, it is there. Oh, it's just not, it's just not showing up for me. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. There it is. Okay, nice. nice. Okay, it's just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's just delayed for me. All right, good. Nice. All right, guys. Let's explore the room. <laughs> Coffee machine. Psychiatrist's diary. Okay. I, ooh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read that, I'm gonna read that, oh my god, I'm gonna skip that, and then I'm gonna read it again when I gets back, that's extremely important, oh my god, shelves are empty, shelves are empty, hmm, Alright, remember what the voice demon does, waiting for his novelist to return. <sighs> Gotta get some steps in, you know? Gotta get some steps in! <laughs> Lyra, thank you for the super. I think I missed one. Wendy Lee, thank you for the super as well. How are you guys feeling today? You guys are right. Uh, YBK, thank you very much. Hmm. It's weird to wait. And there's no music and we're in an abandoned mental hospital. We're just an abandoned hospital in general. Also, while I'm while I'm quick while I'm here, we got a lovely um Streamlabs tip from uh who uh, someone who I now understand is called Memelo, uh rather than Memelo. So I now understand how to pronounce their name, which is nice. Essentially an aquaspa. Just salad, thank you for the super. I returned. Uh, okay, that one didn't. I tried whispering. No, okay, and okay, that, that didn't scare me. I was overreacting. I was being I was being stupid. Right. So while you were gone, there was a diary that I saw was very significant, and so I skipped through it, and now um I'm gonna read it now that you're back, because I think it's very significant. Oh. Globefish, okay. thank you for the aquaspa. Uh may I ask to say that little uh, may I ask you to say the little prince's classic words in a clear juvenile voice? What, like fluffy? My flower is ephemeral, and she has only four thorns to defend herself against the world, and I have left on my planet all alone. <laughs> thank you for that, Belle and Conan. Thank you guys for the supers. Okay. A psychiatrist's diary. John Smith is dead. It appears he hung himself. I was no help at all, it seems. All I got in the end was his suicide note. There's a letter placed in the diary. It appears to be the patient's suicide note. It's chasing me. No matter where I go, I can't ever escape. And so I've decided to die. But I realized it's grinning. In fact, it's grinning behind me right now. It's been waiting for me to do this. This is what it was chasing me for. But now I'll be free from it. Doctor, please take care. It might start to follow you next. There's no point in running, because it's always at someone's back. Goodbye. Thank you for everything, Doctor. You were the only one who showed sympathy. You want to know something? 
Hmm? What have we been doing this whole time? What do you mean? We've been following somebody. <clears throat> Bruh. Bruh. We've been haunting You're... this man's every steps. Wait a mm, I don't like that. <laughs> uh oh. There's a memo on the bulletin board and it says bed, trash, board. Sports. Um, two, three, and four. Okay. I could just like sum up my entire, my entire existence. <laughs> I go to bed, I wake up feeling like trash, and then I'm bored. <laughs> bed, trash, bored. Yeah, you can call <laughs> that your autobiography. Bed, trash, bored. electrocardiogram machine, a bed, a big light over the bed, bunch of test tubes, examination table, there are things posted on the board but they're too messy to read, shelves are empty, there's nothing in any, there's never anything in any of these, I mean I guess I'll come back if we need to find, if we desperately need to find something, it seems like there, there really is never anything to find in there, right, we just went in there, we could maybe, I don't know, Busted down. So what do we do for poor... He's still so sad. How do we get him out of there? Bathroom sinks. Yeah, so what do we... What do we do here? How do we get them out? What kind of items do you have? I don't know. We've got a lighter, scraps of paper, just l notes with information. We've got a bloody key, but that already opened something. Small key, not sure where it's used. It's not here. Um, I mean, when you use a key, you lose it. So maybe there's other places with it. Mm, true. All right, maybe we can try this. None of the other men's bathrooms can be opened. <clears throat> mm, and we already explored all the way down there. We do have that key though. Let's just try out this thing. Yeah, no, we already... Already did all of that, all of that shit. Um, mm. Oh yeah, we got the small key from upstairs. There we are. Chemical closet. Also, hammer. We can use it on the fucking- you idiot! You dumbass! We can use it on the fucking door! On the fucking- gonna be straight up, I did not even see that hammer. <laughs> we gotta use it on the fucking door! Alright, chemical closet. This is a good place to go. Use the hammer on the door! The door! There's a lone diary here. That newbie Steve made a fine mess. He spilled some hydrogen bromide and made a hole in the wall. I told him that stuff could eat through iron. You better pay me back for this. It's an interesting clue. Oh, we'll have to we'll use some hydrogen bromide to 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 blow the lock on the door and get um thingy out. Yeah, hydrogen bromide, but we're in the chemical closet and <laughs> Oh, just, just open the cabinet, you dumbass. Just get some bromide and let's get out of here. Damn. Alright, hydrogen bromide. Where might we find that? Uh, 
you not pick up the hammer? Uh, you can't, no. Um, he says, oh, I don't really? want to be lugging it around without anything to open with it. And so I guess it's not the solution. I mean, you kind of do have something to open with it. We do, yeah, that's the thing. But, like, it doesn't give you the option. That's so weird. It is weird. Yeah, maybe if I find somewhere to use it, though. Huh. Hmm. The men's bathroom. The door is busted. Maybe it's Mjolnir. Maybe it's just, um, what's the name of it? Mjolnir? <laughs> We're not worthy <laughs> yet. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> Who, 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 who? Oh, where? Stop crying. I'm trying my best to go over here. Oh, where? I was trapped in the bathroom of an abandoned hospital with a strange man I've never met before. Oh, where? Oh, and there's a creepy model of a fetus. Gihon's painted over. Luna Shun, thank you for the soup. Uh, of course, you can have a wee kiss on the forehead. Anything for you. Oh, the m hang on. Oh. This is that thing about bed trash board. Um, hmm. Oh, is this where like the um, some of the letters are hidden? Maybe. <gasps> yeah, because it's the kid. The kid wrote it. Maymelo, thank you for the super. Good to see you. And thank you for that big um, Streamlabs donation you gave earlier. Thank you for correcting me on how to pronounce your name. Oh, we already did that. Bop, 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 bop. I love the way that's written. It's fucking terrifying. I guess check trash cans. Uh, this game, these games always make you root around in the fucking garbage. Give me the garbage. What's in the trash? Nothing. Give me the garbage. You know, now that we know we're looking for hydrogen bromide, maybe there's some of that in here. In one of these rooms? Hey, you know, Truly the very most homey of, chem of chemicals. <laughs> I should just broma. <laughs> yeah, it took you a second. You silly bastard. Stop crying. Hydrogen bromide. Medical equipment. You were fucking right as usual. Mm hmm. All right, well, I guess we'll turn it over then. One. I see. Because there was a door that had a three, a three number code, like a, a code with three numbers. Oh yeah. Wait, wait. One of the words on that memo was trash. Yeah. So well, That's let me. That's why I said check the trash cans. Oh, you're right. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me look at this again. So bed trash board. So on third floor, it's 
Ah! Okay. So on the fourth floor, we checked the board in the third room. The board. Six. All right, so board last. So six, and then the one beneath it was uh, one. Bed. So one, six. Bed is next. Then bed on the second floor. Touch the bed. Just gently. Okay. Just touch the bed. Seven. Seven one six. Right. I'm I'm actually I'm I'm drawing a blank on where we use the uh, the code. I think it's at the bottom floor all the way to the right, perhaps. Hmm. Let's have a look. No, not that one. No no no, it was at the end of a hallway. Oh, uh, yeah, down here, okay. Oh, that one open. Or maybe on the second floor? Yeah, mm. perhaps, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. Said it would lead to the emergency stairs. I guess we might be able to use that to get out. No. Yeah, it was like at the end of one of those. Hmm, okay. I think, at least, unless I'm misremembering. Since we since we solved the puzzle, um, people in chat have been spamming cookie emojis. <laughs> there we go. A door locked with three-digit code since it leads to the emergency stairs. All right. Seven. One. Six. Nice one. Huge pile of sandbags so you can't go down. The only way out is up. Fluffy, quick. A what? what? So that's not what? the solution to the fluffy thing. Damn. Can we pick up the hammer now? Maybe. Let's have a look. Because the hammer seems like the most obvious solution. It's like, yeah, we got to break down. We got to bust down a door. Hammer. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's so reluctant. He doesn't want to pick that shit up. Huh. Amelie, thank you for the super. Empty trash can. This is going to save. Mm. Oh, yeah, we've got a few of the letters. We've got A and F. She doesn't even want to interact with the puzzle box. He's got to help Fluffy. It's like we have Is a there hammer. About that safe. Oh. Oh. Got the Y piece. A F Y. Yeah, no, he doesn't want to interact with this with the safe any either. Hmm. I'm gonna guess he's not gonna go out this door either. Oh no. We can just go back out this way. Mm. No one's going to be much out here, though. Is there any indication of where we're supposed to be looking for these things? I don't know. Um, yeah, that's the hint paper written, like... Uh, oh! I, I... Oh! Oh! We've had this, I didn't... Well, then! Flowers are nice. Wash your hands. Where do you have lunch? Give me a call. The nurses know. Get close to the sky. Okay, so phone and cafeteria. For sure, right? Yeah, and then get close to the sky is the fire escape. Yeah. Has to be. Mm, yeah, so... Phone. Oh, don't talk to me about phones and horror RPGs. Um, <laughs> F the phone. <laughs> fuck the phone, dude. Flowers are nice. All right, we've checked the flowers. Wash your hands. We've checked the sink. Where do you have lunch? All right, let's go back to the cafeteria then. 
I know that we're supposed to be helping a lost child right now, but... And come on, there's, there's, like a, there's like a puzzle going on. Uh, Eric, where do you have lunch? I guess we gotta just check under all the fucking tables. All the tables. Ayo! There we are. Alright, hint paper. So we've got. Hold this L. Give me a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. All right, I guess. The nurses know. Get close to the sky. So we've gotten the first three. Give me a call. Give me a call. Call me, call me. Uh, where would have a phone? Probably not in a. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Uh, I wanted to record a message for you uh, regarding your first night. The animatronics here do get a little quirky at night. I'm sorry, Chad. I had to do it. I didn't mean to enable him. <laughs> it always comes back to FNAF. Nobody ever gets to memes. Sauce. Hey, Hongchu. Thank you for the super. Oh, yeah, hon. At the flat. Where's the phone? Where's the fucking phone, dude? What the hell, man? Where's the phone? Same Zame, thank you for the super. Gun Bear. Dude, Gun Bear, solve. Uh, I, dude, I love the crooked man. Stop, oh, stop wait, it, that's Jimmy! The phone. Oh, yeah. Isn't that the phone? Oh, yeah. Oh, you got that one already. Oh, oh, good. Okay. All right, so the nurses know get close to the sky. Your audio is freaking out. Oh, oh, let me let me fix, let me fix it for you. That's gotta be that's gotta be really nasty with the the kid crying. Stop yeah. it, Jimmy! There you go. Thank you. What do they know? What do they know that I don't? Yeah, exactly. What are they? Are they betting on the right stocks? What do they know? What? Maybe in some of these rooms, perhaps? X-rays, container, container. Also, I, I think these rooms might have just been for that one puzzle because there's so much ident mm. identical stuff, you know? Like, yeah. why would it refer to one of them if not to the rest of them? Yeah, and I think we only... We gotta help Fluffy quick. It's like, I wanna get all the pieces, bruv! So I'm reckoning you we need... about those, like, sandbags? No, no, the sandbags just basically say, like, you can't go down. Yeah, huge part of sandbags, so you can't go down. Quill Drench, thank you for the super. Oh, I, Ike, I just got a super mm -hmm. saying that you want to do a FNAF lore stream with me. Is that true? Okay, what I said was, um, because people, people kept memeing about, like, <clears throat> oh, Vox it, 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 it tries to explain the FNAF lore to Ike. 
in a way that he understands. <laughs> and I just said, I'm willing to do that on one condition. Yeah. That if in return, I have to explain the Drakengard lore to you because oh it's equally in equally insane. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, all right. Bet. I can do that. Bet. <laughs> nice. Okay. A stethoscope. Medical equipment. The shelves are empty. You're like, what? Like, <laughs> what the fuck do we do about this sassy lost child? He's like, <laughs> stop it, Jimmy. <laughs> That I'd like knocking always catches me off guard. I'd like to imagine that's him telling the kid to shut the fuck up. He's like, stop it! <laughs> stop running! Hold on. I'm checking the toilets for keys. Stephanie Inc., thank you for the super. Maybe check the fetus again? I don't know. Check the fetus. Fetus is irrelevant. My brain just went irrelevant plus ratio plus your fetus. <laughs> <laughs> ratio plus you fell off plus you literally haven't been born. Plus you're bald. <laughs> What do we do about this fucking child, bruv? Reach for the sky. I mean, that's all just for the pieces, and we... Reach for the sky has to be the fire escape. Like, it has to be the emergency stairs, right? Yeah. But we can't go up there. Like, the game will not allow us to go up there. So, mm. I, like, I think we have to set little Timmy free before we can do anything else. But, like, how the fuck are we setting free? We have a hammer. The game's just like, no, 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 no. You can't use the hammer. But why not? Why? Why not just throw me a bone, game? Let me smash the door with a hammer. Yeah, so we got the, <clears throat> the flower one. We got the phone one. We got the... Um washing your hands one right? yeah, now we just need the nurses know and get close to the sky oh, yeah, we also got the where you have lunch see I think it has it just has to be to do with that hydrogen bromide down. thing like they said oh it melts through <laughs> iron so we can melt the lock off the door and because he said oh the door must have broken so we melt the lock off the door and then we can get the kid out but like where is it Is it not in here? Like, what did you find in here? The only thing we found in here was the diary telling us about hydrogen bromide. But you'd think, like, oh, you know, this is a chemical closet. If there's hydrogen bromide anywhere, it's going to be here. But there's just... I feel like Tai Long opening the dragon scroll. I'm like, it's nothing! Mm -hmm. That's me with an Akka Chad. <laughs> 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 there's nothing! <laughs> You're like, ah, ah, it's blank. No, here, here, look. No, I'm, for I'm forbidden to look upon the Akaspa. Oh my god, you're right. Where is it? Every time I'm in a, I'm in a game and I can't, oh, like I, I'm, I'm looking for something and I can't find it, I just hear a distant Tai Lung in my head saying, Where is it? I don't want your apology. Did you check anywhere in uh, the in the other part of the building, like where we were ar earlier? No, perhaps that's the solution. I think I was hesitant to go back. Hmm. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We're looking for looking for chemicals. We got day room counseling, dining. So, nursing yeah. station. What is? What about that? Oh wait, 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 wait. 
Oh yeah, that's where we just were. Um, I guess there might be some bromide in there. Um, maybe in the box? No, lost and found. Oh, for fuck's oh! sake, game! Oh, it's the IP. There it the is! Nursing yeah, there we go. Okay, no, that's clever. For a second, I thought the bromide was going to be in the fucking lost and found. I was going to be like, okay, okay. All right, one more piece. Reach for the sky. That has to be the fire escape, right? Maybe just go all the way up here? Maybe. The elevator. Take me up. Take me up tonight. Where the elevator's working and I want to see life. Um, there's a lone diary. Oh yeah, we already read that. It's about, uh, it's about mama. Yeah, I can't. I, I really, really can't imagine that the the, the the reach for the sky is like anywhere but the fire escape. Maybe now that... that we have all the other ones, like it, it'll let us. Yeah, but it was. I Perhaps. guess the thing is, he specifically said, like, um, I've got to help Fluffy first. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm. Maybe try putting together what you have so far. Y L I A F. It's it spells fail. -y. Um. Let me just let me just let me go check that shit again. Stop it, Jimmy. Yeah, no, there's... Yeah, I wouldn't have thought so. Mm. Maybe I'll... Uh, let you pick up the hammer now? Maybe. Zeromi, thank you for the super. Yeah, failure with a Y. Imagine him being like, ah, it's one of my daughter's favorite words. And she says, failure. That's right there, David. Oh my God. Okay. No, we're looking. We. It has to be the hydrogen bromide. It absolutely has to be. We just so need to where find Where the heck something. did we find that? I don't know. I don't know. It's in, um, like, you, it makes sense to be in the chemical closet, but the game's just like, no. No, it's not. <laughs> hey, Luigi, did you bring hydrogen bromide? No. Very nice of the princess to invite us out here. Bum 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 bum. Like David, I know it's heavy, but please, please pick up the hammer. Why would we find hydrogen? Fucking fucking bitch. Or did you read that thing about the hydrogen? It was in the chemical closet, yeah. And we, we already we already scanned like the entirety of that room. And uh there was essentially nothing. And there was like literally nothing else in there? Literally nothing else. I I, I think I checked every tile. Um so it's this. Yep, there's that. Boop, 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 boop. I mean I'll I'll do We'll do the backs as well. 
would be an extra thorough. Oh, and the sides. Thank you for the supers, guys. There ain't Can nothing in your inventory. No, hey, still. No, it, I don't know. Mm. No. Could it be that we're like, where, where, where do we find it? Can't go in here because it says the like, but it's not even locked. It's like the door just will not open. Uh, a stretcher. Oi, a stretcher. Oh, hey, oh. I gotta help Fluffy. I can't, can't go about any other tasks. I gotta help the child, but also, where's the bromide? Oh, to all mothers carrying babies, please stop abandoning children in front of the hospital. Six precious lives have been lost this month alone. Yowza. Jesus. Oh, that helps. Um. Okay, hold on. So, basement, chemical closet, and the mortuary. Oh, that's the one that won't. I oh, no. Uh, so, Fluffy's on 3F, opposite ophthalmology, um, gynecology, and dermatology. Now, where, one, uh, let me just Google hydrogen bromide itself. Where would we find, uh, I'd assume it's like, uh, hydrogen bromide. I'd assume it's like sort of a disinfectant. Maybe, um... Hmm, it's interesting. Like completely drawing a blank. I'm desperately trying to think. Yeah, me too. It wasn't the, like, that chemical room. And where the, where else would you keep it? Right, that's what I'm thinking, is that it's like, yeah, there's a specific chemical we need uh, that melts through iron locks, you know? It's like, oh, well, we can use that to safely get the kit out. Um, and there's a room full of chemicals, but none of them have hydrogen. Bitch boy. Do you have any keys you have yet to use? Uh, we have... Well, yeah, it's hydrogen bromide. Made a hole in the wall. That newbie Steve. Makita, thank you for the super. He better pay me back for this. We have the bloody key. And where does that go? We used that to get into the room with the boy originally. Okay. Just gonna go on a limb here. What if the bloody key miraculously opens the door? Oh my god, that scared me. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have thought so. I would have been fucking pissed if this random key that we already used just randomly opened the door. I would have been fucking mad. <laughs> um, hint paper, the address, the light, and the notebook scrap. What the fuck? Where do we go? This is difficult. This is tough. They didn't say something about washing your hands too, or did you already get that? Mm -hmm. uh, I think we already got that one. I can always check. What is that like white stuff at the floor? I've never figured that out. Man, it's glass. Yeah, like broken glass. Can you pick it up? No, 
At least not that I think so. Mm. Stop fucking crying, Jimmy. And it's not like one of those miso things where you have to like knock three times on a bathroom door. Uh, I wouldn't have thought so. That's just me like thinking about Hanako. <laughs> knock three times and the hydrogen bromide will appear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seep me out of this one. I'm a smart boy and I can solve it with the help of my I believe. friend Ike. What were you gonna say? I just said I believe. I believe, right, right, right. Sal, thank you for the super. You stopped and I thought you had like a revelation. I was like, Ike, what is it? Don't I mean, stop I now! I, I mean, I think I know it. I'm not sure. Give me, give me some kind of a, some kind of an idea. I, I think it has something to do with like that white stuff because like why else would that, that like be on the floor there? In the bathroom? Yeah. Well, I can't, it's like I, porcelain or something. I can't interact with it. It's completely just. Can you not pick it up at all? No, it's just, it's literally, it's just decoration. It's like some glass has been smashed somewhere. It seems so deliberate. Yeah, it is weird. Man, I'm, I feel like one of those uh, people that like... Um, uh, room room uh, 237. Yeah. Just like overanalyzing something that isn't there. It's like, dude, dude. The glass on the floor, it symbolizes the skiing minotaur. Everyone in chat's yelling about how painful this is. Can you use items on it? Oh, piss off. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we're so stupid! Uh, there are fragments of... So you were right. It wasn't the things themselves. Hey! Maybe if I can break this wall some more, do I have Wait, anything I can oh, use? If only we have a thing for that! <laughs> Be honest with me. Is breaking the wall with a hammer... Honestly, that's more unsafe. Because he's inside. Surely breaking the door, we can at least... It's easier to just, like... Break the door. Yeah, we could just tell him to we could just break the door and be like, Hey, hey, this is gonna be kind of loud. Fluffy? Save, 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 save! The wall, the wall, the wall. Oh, shit, shit, we shit, already shit. forgot. Uh, we already, already forgot. forgot. Already forgot. Should be able to get through. Fluffy, get away from the wall. I'm going to break through. Hey -ya. He's fucking... He's freaking gone. No, no, don't come near me. I'm scared. Fluffy, it's okay. It's me, David. Mr. David. Ah! Oh. Aww. Fluffy, are you okay? Are you hurt? Seriously, what happened? <gasps> I was waiting for you, David, Mr. David, and then and I turned around and there was a guy there and he tried to get me. Oh, where? A man. Fluffy, what was he like? His neck was all limp and he was grinning. He looked at me and he said, found you. I was so scared. I hid in here. A man with a crooked neck. Long, at long last, somebody else sees him? This is the first time somebody else has seen him. You're right. Or am I crazy? You're right, yeah. It's him. So he followed me here too. Damn it, why Fluffy and not me? I was so scared. Oh, I was so scared. 
It's okay, Fluffy. You did good for yourself. I'm proud of you. No, never mind. I I just realized that D also saw him. Hmm. But what if D is also D? Oh yeah, and um, mm -hmm. and Sissy saw him as well. Oh, Sissy. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Then. I'm talking out of my. Nah, that was weird. You know. If he's here, then I can't let Fluffy stay here. I have to take him to the police. Fluffy, shouldn't we go to Mr. Policeman? It's dark and dangerous around here. I'll take you there. It'll be okay. No, I'm staying with Mr. David. I'm waiting for Mama. Fluffy, please, don't be selfish. I'm sure your Mama went to the police too, so... No, Mama said to wait here, so I know she's gonna come find me. And I'll wait for her, because I'm tough. <clears throat> Fluffy... If I can't find him here soon, and if Fluffy's mom doesn't show, then I'll have to take him to the sheriff. Fluffy sure won't like that, though. Oh, this is getting troublesome. I hope she just shows up soon. All right, Fluffy, we'll wait together a little longer, okay? Your mama will come soon. I know it. Say, don't cry. You're a big boy, right? And he's like, I'm a fat boy! Oh my god. <laughs> don't tell mama that I cried. Mama hates when I cry. She gets mad. What? Oh, God. I won't tell a soul. That's a promise between men. Now, let's go. Okay. We've reunited with, with, with our boy. And now, we can go to the fucking thing. Wait. Wait. Hang, wait, hang on. Hang on. I got it wrong. This way. I like his walk. The, the way that Fluffy runs. <laughs> Now, come on, son. Up the fire escape. We need to find puzzle puzzle pieces for a box. Not even pliers can cut this. Not that I have those. Hmm. What can I do about this? Now it's going to let us pick up the hydrogen bromide from the motherfucker. It's just like Shreya wasn't there before until this very important flag has been <laughs> triggered. <laughs> oh, that was funny. There was a, there was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He brought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. There was a crooked man, huh? Yeah, Mama taught it to me. I like to sing, so I sing lots, and I like to sing that song. See. What is it, Mister? I actually learned, learned it as a kid, too, but I didn't like it very much. Uh-oh. Why not? It just felt like a sad song to me. He's been crooked his whole life, and he's got around him. All he's got around him is crooked stuff. I'm scared to think. What if I was a crooked man? I mean... I mean, there it is. I'm scared to think. What if... Wink. What if I... was a crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. No, I'm not self-aware anymore. I don't get it, mister. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for singing a sad song. Uh, no, it just reminded me of that. You're a good singer, Fluffy. Do you sing with your mama? Yeah, mama likes to sing too. It's fun to sing with her. Do you sing too, David? <laughs> no, I'm no good. You've been enough not hearing me try. Oh. Hey, show me some fucking hydrogen bitch tits. Maybe we gotta read the diary again. There it is. There it is. Let's go find some Heidi Jen. Oh, he's growing on me. Heidi Jen. He's growing on me, this kid. I like him. PL combination granules, part salicylamide, sal part acetaminophen. No clue. Are these even words? No hydrobromate in these shell. Wait. What do you say? I don't know. Never mind. Spiperone, Pepaparone, Moparone. Medicines have so many weird names. Oh. Oh, here we go. Hydrogen bromide. Have to be careful with this. Oh. <laughs> Chemicals. Chemicals. Have you seen people have been calling Sunny the, um, the son from Teletubbies? 
Wait, what? Do you know Sonny Briscoe? No. Is that he's the baby in the sun from the fucking Teletubbies? Oh, yeah, that thing looks kind of freaky in <laughs> it hindsight. It's terrifying. Oh, here we go. Hydrogen bromide. I have to be careful with this. We found the Heidi. Oh, I like him. He's like, yeah, son, we did find the Heidi. You're you're a lot you're a lot more likable when you're not fucking crying. Stop it, Jimmy! Some hydrogen broom, I could take care of this wire. Nothing, stand back. This could be dangerous. Okay. It's working. It's kind of fun. As we have a science experiment. Whoosh. The wire melted. The door can now be I have open. a bad feeling about this. Save if you can. Yay, we're outside. Hey, Fluffy, don't run around. You'll fall. I can't see Mama from here. She must still be looking for that thing she lost. I hope she comes find me. I hope she come finds me soon. She'll be here soon, I'm sure. You sure love your mama, huh, Fluffy? Yeah, mama's the best. You like your mama, Mr. David? Yeah. Gotta love my mama. I mean, my mother. Family's important. My mama's nice, but she's scary when she's mad. Is your mama nice? I'm home. You feeling better, Mom? Did you go to the hospital? Aw. Oh. Welcome home, Davy. It's just a cold. Don't blow it out of proportion. I feel a lot better after getting some rest. There's really no good side to, be, to being feeble. I'm sorry to always be causing you trouble. Oh, don't worry about it. We're just a family of two. Of course we have to help each other. <laughs> You're so kind. Say, how's it going with Shirley? She hasn't come by here lately. We haven't met much because of work, though I'd like to talk with her more about the future and all that. She must be anxious. It's a big event in a woman's life. Make sure to support her, will you? Are you sure you're not in pain, Mom? You don't look very well. Get some sleep. I can make my own meals. I'm glad to have such a kind son. Thank you, Davy. Oh, this game's gonna be sad. Shirley yeah. and Sissy. Sissy could be a nickname. Yeah. Yeah, she's very kind. She always cared about me. <laughs> you better get home soon then, Mr. David. Your mama must be really worried. I suppose you're right. Same reason why yours will show up soon. So just wait with me until then. Yeah. Can I save? Please let me save. Oh, thank fuck. An old newspaper. Psychiatrist at Stafford Hospital commits suicide. Early this morning, a doctor employed at Stafford General Hospital was found dead by a nurse. He was discovered hanged, so police are deeming it a suicide. Just not going to read any more of the article. All right, then. Get me up there. M. So what? That's all of them. What would the word be... Yeah. Oh, it's family. Oh. <laughs> My brain doesn't fucking work. But that's okay. I saw fam and I instantly knew. Is that coming from the game? Yes, there is. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god. Guys, he's reading us the terms and conditions. I think he's eating the fetus, actually. Oh my god. What is he doing? Oh. Is it... Is it eating the embryo model? Oh, 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 fuck me, that's too... Oh, oh. Hold on, let me... Why would you walk up to the crooked man? I don't know, I don't know at all. Let me turn the gate volume down a bit, that scared the fuck out of me. Ugh. Mr. David! No, stay away! 
Oh no, we gotta- God, that's so loud. So loud. Ugh, gotta chase the monster. Get up! Yeah, I'm bleeding, I'm so dizzy. David, get after him! There's a child in danger. Get after him! Where did they go? That's the question. I assume Fluffy's trying to get out of here. No, okay, maybe I was wrong. The, okay, I have a theory. It's the door on the far right down here. Because we couldn't open it earlier. It didn't say locked, it just said it wouldn't open. I don't know. I, I guess not. Wait, can you put in the things in the... I guarantee it's going to be like, I've got to help Fluffy. <laughs> oh my god, we actually no, can. You... Fam. <laughs> Fam. I don't care about the safe oh, right now. I care enough about the box, but I don't give a shit about the safe. Where are you, my boy? Where are you? Where have you got to? Let's see, check all the rooms. Oh, my head. Maybe it chased him back onto the roof? Maybe. Yeah, the roof is very big. Eh, eh, me, eh. <laughs> Crooked man, you motherfucker! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Uh, it. Oh, the wrong way. Oopsie, Oopsie Daisy, I'm dizzy. It's not my fault. Not on the roof. Okay, I guess we know that. Can now. you get the fire hydrant now? Can I get the fire? Oh. Or is it just like decoration? There are a lot of fire. Yeah, there are, there are a bunch of them around. So I reckon if we get into a combat encounter, we'll be able to grab. Also, one. I called it a hydrant. That's an extinguisher. I'm an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> no, no, I I would have made the same mistake. Hello. Hello, hello. Where are we supposed to go? Uh, I want to record a message for you. Help you get started in the abandoned hospital. Yeah, that's where we just were. I reckon it'd be Fluffy's instinct to run downstairs. Alright, we're back in the haunted bathroom. Did you check upstairs? No. There are two kinds of people, Yulfuma and family. Oh! There he is! Fluffy! <laughs> I don't wanna... Stay away! Stay away! I have to... I have to do something about that thing. I'll use this! Get away from Fluffy! Jesus. Mr. David! Fluffy, you're not hurt? Nope, I'm fine. I'm sorry, Mr. David. It was my fault that you, you got hurt, Mr. David. It's okay. It's not your fault. It didn't, didn't do anything wrong. Mr. David! Oh, Mr. David, bleeding? I think I'm coming down with a case of the vapors. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner... Oh my fucking god, dude. He fucking did. Uh, Mr. David! 
Did I pass out? <sighs> it's still, uh, that's stupid monster. Mr. David, are you really okay? Yeah, Fluffy, I'm fine. You're not hurt? Nope. I'll be fine too. I'm sorry for worrying you. Looks like that monster went away. Fluffy? I don't I want my mama. I don't like monsters. I don't like the dog. Fluffy. Should we go to the police? I'm sure your mother's there, so. I told mama I'd wait. Mama said she was proud of me, so I'll I'll wait for her. Mama wouldn't lie. She's gonna come for me. So I have to wait here. He really should be with the sheriff. But he just won't listen. If I try to force him, he'll just run. I'll give him a little more time and then force him to go if I have to. I do wonder what his mom's doing, though. Leaving her son behind like this. Can't believe some people. What's with that monster up to? He was chasing, he was chasing me before, but now he's just after Fluffy. I don't think I can possibly know. I just need to protect him from being attacked. Maybe I should find a weapon somewhere. You're a good kid, Fluffy. Putting up with all this, you're really great. I bet your mom is really glad. Hold out a little more, okay? Oops, excuse me. I'll stay with you. No more monsters. I can't say, but I'll protect you if there are. So I don't wander off from me. Don't wander, don't wander away from me, okay? Okay, I'll stay with you, mister. All right. Huzzah. Now we go and check that fucking safe. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Got a revolver and a fucking Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> hey look, son, I found a gun. Next time that crooked man shows up, we're gonna, it's we're on gonna be site. packing heat. It's on sight. Wow. Oh my Speak god, he's back already. Mr. David. Monster. Mr. David, help. This monster's persistent. Fluffy, over here. No, I'm scared of monsters. I don't want to. I don't wanna! Fluffy, get over here! Don't let that monster come near you! <gasps> Fluffy! Stop it, Jimmy! I gotta go after Fluffy! <laughs> Maybe safe. Oh, yeah. Bear's down here now. Damn. I keep thinking it's gonna be that. Oh, this is probably the roof. Because remember how big the roof was? That's mm. obviously a fighting arena. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Fluffy! No, no, no! Stay away! Mr. David, help! Over here, Fluffy. Don't, don't let it get near! Mr. David, help! Damn it, really is after Fluffy. Why? Fluffy, listen, don't let it catch you. Run away, I'll take care of it. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh my God. So he's Let's not shoot the kid. Lord, that's loud. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, everybody. I think we got him. I'm so sorry about the noise, everybody. The, 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 the game is, is just kind of built different like that. This is the end. Don't come near Fluffy again, monster. Oh, they have to just hit me with one more. Oh, we literally kicked him off the fucking roof. Huh. This is Sparta. <sighs> I 
I don't know how many times I shot it, but not even, not even it could survive that. Fluffy, I'm sorry you had to go through that, but it's all okay now. Fluffy, what's wrong? Were you hurt? Why? Huh? Oh. It, it's so scary, but, but I keep hanging in there and I just want to go home. So why won't Mama come? Does Mama hate me? Fluffy. Mama hates me, so she'll never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted kid. Fluffy, that's not true. It's not. It. Mm hmm. That's not. What was that? Yeah. It was a flashback to um. His mother, you know, when it, the the mm -hmm. CG with his hand on her shoulder. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to Mr. Policeman. I see. Okay, I'll go with you. I'm fine! I could go there myself. Fluffy, you shouldn't be alone late at night. I'm a tough kid. I can make it on my own even if Mama isn't there. Even if Mama isn't there, I won't cry. Wait. Here we go again. Here we go again. <sighs> my head feels like it's going to explode. Lovey? He left. On his own. Oh, Fluffy. Your mother didn't hate you. It was you who lost faith in her. What have I been doing here? Wandering these ruins, looking for a man I don't know. I should go home. There's no point to this. Nothing will change. So I think, I think, um, the thing about this section is that, like, holy shit, if you think about it in terms of, like, the, the sort of the, the true meaning of the game that we've been thinking about, this whole section is sort of a metaphor for David waiting for his mother to get better. Hmm. You know, he feels like a really lost little kid who's, you know, who's expecting his mum to get better. And meanwhile, it's like that whole thing, oh, she gets angry when I cry and all of that. Because at the start of the game, the only thing we've seen is that his mother gets, you know, in her, you know, with um, dementia or Alzheimer's or whatever she has, she gets mad whenever he does anything, you know. Or perhaps that's true of their relationship earlier on. So it's a really... That's a really pretty upsetting metaphor for everything, you know? Like, it's... Ugh, oh God. Oh, boy. That was the same crime from the beginning of the game. Hmm. God, that sounds like a woman's voice. Could it be Fluffy's mother? So she did come for him, that's good. I'll bet she and Fluffy passed, passed each other by. A voice is coming from the clinic site. I'll, 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 I'll go check it out. Oh boy. Yep, oh. I fucking knew it. <laughs> Who's that over there? Hey, who are you? Huh? Mom? Davy? Why do you abandon me? That's... Mom, how can you be here? I hate hospitals. You and my family hit you abandon me? No, you were sick, Mom, so... You left me. My own family couldn't stand me anymore. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Who are you? My mom couldn't possibly be here. Why are you pretending to be her? It hurts, Davey. Just like it did then. Are you going to try and kill me again? Oh, no. It hurts. 
hurt so much, Davy. Oh, I don't like that. Who are you? Why are you in my house? What do you do with my husband? Answer me! Um, please stop. You keep saying things like that. Dad left a long time ago, okay? Did you forget? Shut up, intruder. I don't know anyone like you. I'll call the police on you. Stop it. Don't tell me you're already going senile. Please, take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. Just tell me if I'm a bother. Shut up. Keep your mouth shut. You think I know you? Get out of here. Stop. What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me if I did something wrong. Are you teasing me? Because it's not funny. Please, Mom. Quiet. I'm not your mother. I don't know you. Get out. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dave. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop. Let go. You're trying to kill her? David! It appears to be a brain tumor. It's putting significant pressure on her brain. Sudden changes in behavior, violent action, and memory loss can be signs of brain disease. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. In some cases, counseling to resolve friction in a family can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we noticed a little sooner... <laughs> Back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We'll have to postpone the operation for now. We've hospitalized her for the time being, and her condition will influence our decision. Hopefully it won't be long. Please, come by to see her often. Even if she doesn't seem to know you, she's family. No. We're not family anymore. Don't say we are. If I, had, if I hadn't been stomped just like that, I would have... I would have never been forgiven for it. It really was hatred in me. And it's true I've abandoned her in the hospital. She was my only family. My precious mother, who cared for me after my father left, and yet... My wishes never came true. My dreams, love, and even family all go away. I can't have anything that's not crooked. What have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore, it's obvious now. It was only one way, from the very beginning. Scene 3, Central Hospital, Fluffy, End. Holy <sighs> Holy moly. Jesus. Hey, hello? Hello, hello? Oh my god. Oh, what was my accent for this guy? Damn it. David hasn't answered a single call. What's he up to and where? Paul, what do we do? I know we shouldn't have left David alone. Oh, Marion, get a hold of yourself. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering over old wounds. He was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear. But that didn't help now, did it? It wasn't a bad idea. It was a mistake to, to, for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it, I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we'll call on the police. What do you mean? Why would that room be? <sighs> Don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things and... David! David, where are you? The abandoned hospital in Storford? 
Why are you way over there? Listen, I'll find you. Just wait for me. So don't move so much as a muscle. Don't come. Please, don't. Leave me alone. David! Hey, David! Ah, oh, he's in Strawford. It'd probably take about a day to get there on my motorcycle. Marion, I'm gonna get David. I I'm going with you. David is my friend too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. Alright, let's go. We're being pursued. David's car. He's got to still be here. Come on, Marion. Starks so stays close behind me. Right. Oh my god, we're playing as Paul! Ooh. Interesting. Gotta be at the roof, right? Well, those footsteps. They're from upstairs. Are you, David? Who's there? What are you doing there? It's Sissy! Oh. A girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, who the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. What? David probably just said something pretty nasty to her. <laughs> Uh, it's Cheng, thank you for the super. Man, what the hell was that? He's gotta be in this room and he just fucking... ...busted a screw loose. Maybe not. Maybe keep going up? Maybe. Well, is this the, the highest floor? This is the highest floor, yeah. Maybe the rooftop? Yeah, I guess maybe. Maybe Sissy found a way down from up there. Oh. What the Someone heck? Else. David, this is gonna be this is gonna be D. Hey, who are you? Yo! The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. It, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. Next up, we're gonna run into Fluffy. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. A kid? Don't tell me he's wandering here. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked kid, which caught a crooked mouse. And kid, what are you doing? And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Hey, you listen to me. Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry, and he couldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time, and he sighed. And so he... Mr. David's waiting for you. Go see him. 
why is there a shadow around the girl's face, and why is she not saying anything? I just got fucking goosebumps. Holy shit. You're right. Why is there a shadow on her face? I was with that kid. Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. <sighs> Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Marion, what do you mean, teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know, I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David, no jokes. She doesn't see them. So that's it. Marion. Go and leave the hospital. Sorry for trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened to you, I'll be putting two family members in danger. Please, just trust me. All right. Please, come back quickly. Right. Just wait for me, David. What is happening, man? What the fuck's happening, dude? Good idea, good idea. This music's fucking with me. David, what are you doing out there? David. Oh. Why are you here? I came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, David. Stay away! Oh, boy. David, you... I'm, I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm, I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. David, what, what's that? Oh, agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here and right now... David! Punch! Honestly, that's what I would pick. Yeah, take the gun is to, like, persuading. He has a supernatural influence telling him to kill himself. That's not gonna work. Take the gun, you fumble with it, and that's then That's a good way to get shot. yourself shot. Punching him... I mean, then, you know, the gun's gonna drop to the ground. Also, I think yeah, I'm, look, um, Good luck trying to aim at either someone else or yourself if you're incapacitated from head trauma. I just realized the, the game screen, it's missing uh, something. The, the, the punch option. Hang on, let me just shrink it down a little bit so you guys can see that. But yeah, no, there's an option that just says punch. So let's, let's do that. <laughs> Doink! Ow. You... Damn! Oh no! Oh god. Get away from David! Ow! ow stop! Yeah! That hurts! Stop, you moron! David! You back with us? I don't say, I don't say that like I went nuts. I've been saying from the start. Like hell. That's the kind of thing you do saying. I'd have to beat you up till you promise not to. Now, about this stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that's happened. We did it. Punch was the right option. Huzzah. <laughs> They're having a smoke. Reminds me, do you remember Takeshi's challenge? Yes. Yeah, the fact that, um, when, like, when you go home to your wife in that game, it's like, it's like, oh, you can chat, have dinner, pay alimony, or punch. <laughs> it just gives you those options right out the gate. That was a weird fucking game.
It really was. It just, I don't know, something about seeing punch in a drop down menu is very funny. <sighs> Sissy, D, and Fluffy. And that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster? It's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fanaticism. I don't always, don't I always tell you that I see things? You and Maria never believe me. Sheesh. Anyway. Back Sissy D and the kiddo. I, I think I met him. Huh? It's ridiculous. Fluffy maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness, they gotta stick around in places. More of your occult shtick? You're seriously making fun of the occult after this? Just listen, no jokes. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Oh, you had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling. From you and from the room. I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness was a perfect match with you. That'd be why you wanted to meet the guy too. So you're saying... He's calling me. Yep. And you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core. But always sympathise with others and they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know the guy? You know a little from the stuff that you left. And that was all stuff you could identify with. So what would you think of a guy who's the spitting image of you? Would you hate him or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both. The same as him. Think back. A crooked man tried to, tried to kill you. Tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you? Who wanted your help? What? He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. That's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He helped me. He got me back on my feet. Again, that's... Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm? What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address. And I don't think it's that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, Crooked Man will follow me forever. So I'm going. David! You come back to us safe. I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah, I know. Thanks. What a bro. What a bro. Scene 4. Central Hospital. Paul. End. Scene 5. Home sweet home. This it's is going to take place in. Yeah. This is also, this is the first time... Started. Yeah, this is the first time we've had, like, a scene open with the title. Yeah. This is the place. For sure. Could this be his house? Who the fuck is that? Excuse me, can I have a second? What? Hey, see you around here. Going for a stroll. Uh, no, actually. Do you know who lives here? Do you know him? Oh. You mean Mrs. Ma McGahan, I think? Mrs. M McGahan? Someone named McGahan lives here? Not anymore. Mrs. McGahan passed away last year. House has been neglected ever since. Waste of a fine house is. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I think that she had a son. We should just rent out or sell the house. Do you know anything about her son? 
Uh, I've never seen him. I only moved here a few years back. Eddie lives in an apartment a ways away. Let's see. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you guys for the supers, Kumaki and Q. That all? Got to get home by daybreak or my wife will be livid. It's good to take a walk in the morning, but it sure is cold. Don't catch a cold or nothing. Uh, yeah, thank you. You too. This one is giving giving me more creeps than the others because it's so it's so eerily familiar. Mailbox says Magahan must have been the residence name. Am I pronouncing that right? Magahan, Magahan. I don't know. Sounds Irish. How much you want to bet that that's David's last name? Oh, I, that's exactly what I was thinking, yeah. I almost like it when things with sort of twist endings almost make the twist obvious to the point where they're not relying on it to shock you, you know? It's something that just sort of dawns on you. It's something that dawns on you and then makes the rest of the experience all the better. Right. Can't go this way, can't go that way, so we've got to find a key somewhere, or some other way in. Nothing growing in the planter. Table and a chair covered in dust. Hmm. I think you, you've just got to go straight in. Well, it's locked. Do you have a key? We have the bloody key. I mean, we could oh, try that. Oh, don't fucking tell me. Oh my god. <sighs> Bruh. Shoe shelf, lots of musty women's shoes. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. So, such good use of gameplay mechanics. A wash basin. The mirror has a big crack in it. Toilet water reeks. The bath water is muddy. It smells bizarre. The washing machine, there are still clothes left inside. Piece of shad. Actually, can't go. We can't go over that. Filled with rotten mm. waste. Yeah, no, we're gonna have to find we have to go somewhere else, find a way around. Floor is scuffed up. The shelves have tools and cleaning equipment. Found a scrap from a notebook. The hotel, the school, the hospital. It was the same as all of them. My saddest memories wouldn't go away. Writing wouldn't calm down my heart. In the end, my festering heart just oozes more, and I tear up the paper. Mine is an empty existence. I have nothing to leave behind, not even words. Yay, yay, yay. Old telephone, big gash on the wall, scrap a notebook again. I recalled the rhyme of the crooked man. All he could do was live in a crooked house with a cat and a mouse just as crooked. I was the same way. <laughs> Sans turns up. I, I was Sorry. the same. It's okay. I was the same way. Everything I wished for ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, even my family. How did the crooked man live? Was he sorrowful? In the depths of despair, such a life has no meaning. There's a big crack on the TV screen. Small bookshelf. No much, no much food in the refrigerator, and it's all gone bad. Sink's moldy and dusty. The stove is stained with burns and rust. All right, I'll just wait. Sure, I'll just wait a sec. Make sure Ike gets back. I'm right here. Oh, you're right. Oh, you didn't leave in the phone. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> I 
A lot of notes to find. Born radio. I'm saving. Why? 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 No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. I don't like this one bit, man. Found a scrap from a notebook. Out of cigarettes. I need to smoke. Toppled trash can. There's a few pieces of trash inside. It's like firewood. Drawers. Door leading up to the attic, but it won't open. Paintings fallen to the floor. Must have been hung on the wall before. There's almost nothing in the desk. Deflated volleyball sits on top. Something from a shards from a broken mirror. There aren't many clothes in the closet. A few men's coats and suits. Trash cans full of crumpled paper. And a black covered notebook. The rule in this notebook matches the scraps I have. There's a name on this. Duke. Duke. Magan. Okay, so I was just grasping at straws. No, no, I get it. I get, it makes perfect sense. I was thinking the same thing. Duke. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard fucking Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> This house is making a lot of noises, and I'm not a fan of any of them. Maybe the attic is open now that you have the notebook? Oh yeah, perhaps. Oh, there he is! He has a new noise! Crooked man. I can't go over to your side. He's up there, isn't he? Then I'll be going there. And this will be the end. Oh boy. Oh, he's la right, his last name is Hoover. <laughs> Whoa! Sorry about the loud noises, chat. Ow! 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 Oh, he just fucking grabbed me. Okay, yeah, he moves in the dashes, so... Stop that! Oh! Oh, that's so loud. I'm sorry. Oh, the screaming itself does damage. Oh, fuck. I, oh. I, I pissed it up. Ah. Pissed it up. More screaming for you guys. I, I apologize. Huzzah. Oh, huzzah. Let's try that again, shall we? Ow, fucked it up. My fucking balls! Uh, Damn! Ow! More screaming! Woo! Yeah, baby! Okay, I can't shoot him over the table. That that would be that would be kind of funny.
All right, this is fine. I have the strat now. We hit, we, gaming has gaming has begun. Full gamer mode. Uh. Oh boy. Oh god. That was that oh. one was even louder. What the fuck game? It just keeps getting louder. He's like, oh, away. I'm not going to be like you. You won't catch me. As much misery as I encounter, as painful and bloody as it might be, I'll keep living. So? Be gone! Oh my god! Huh. And when he when and when he elects simply to keep living and not to let his misery control him, the crooked man is no more. I like that. I, I guess up to the attic we go. Arabella, thank you very much for the super. Good to see you again. There's a door to the attic. You might be able to pry it open. Duke. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, that's why he's the crooked man. Mm. You, you detested me. Though I lived such a similar life. You hated how I lived comfortably. So you wanted to drag me down. To take me with you. Didn't you want to be saved deep down? So you called me. No, that's not right. You were trying to help me. To tell me, don't come the way I've come. Thank you. Nothing will make you suffer anymore. Where you're going, it's a good place, so... Now you can rest in peace. Oh, sounds like a real ordeal, David. I mean, finding a corpse while you're on a trip, this lady's accent keeps changing. But it sounds like it ended <clears throat> up alright. I'll go get you some tea. He was beaten by the crooked man. He was dragged to the other side. The crooked man was always right. The crooked man was always right behind me. I realized he was there. Every time I was sad, I felt like he was whispering to me. I knew if I acknowledged it, I was done for. So I tried not to think about it. If all this hadn't happened, I think sooner or later I'd take his same path. Thinking of it that way, he really did save me. Always such an easy target, aren't you? That's why you got dragged into this. It's fine. The crooked man is gone. Hello? Huh? Uh, okay, I I I'll head right there. David, what's up? Who was it? hospital. Mom's condition took a turn. They're preparing to do the operation. <sighs> Take my bike. It'll be faster. You gotta go. Don't sit there staring. Ooh. Doctor, m Mom, Mom's condition. To be honest, this is rather risky. Removing the tumor isn't too difficult, but she might not have enough strength to... Doctor, please, my mom, she's the only family I have, please. Sign this. Getting ready now, we'll do the best job we can. Okay. A 
Let's pray. Now put our hands together. Let us pray for the safety of David's mum. Mm. Doctor, mum, mum. The tumor was successfully removed. She's still sleeping now. We might have a chance if she wakes up. Tonight will be her biggest hurdle. Have faith in her. David? Mom. Mom, I thank God you woke up. You really... I felt like I was in darkness. I was scared, screaming. Oh, he must have worried you. Those things I did to you, I'm so sorry. It wasn't hard, was it? It's okay, it's okay. You helped me open my eyes. Oh... <laughs> Mom, I was so unhappy. I was always just struggling to be happy. But I didn't give my mother the happiness she needed. And after all the hardship I'd given her, I foolishly doubted. Thought I wasn't loved, wasn't needed. That's why I... Do you hate me for it? Don't be silly, David. Indeed, you and I both. It's hard to say... You were always happy. But even in sad times, you were always honest. You lived a straight and honest life. I was so proud of you. Having you as a son was my greatest happiness. Don't focus on the sad things. And I'm sure you'll notice all the happiness hiding around you. Davy, I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? Sure, just a second. You motherfucker! <laughs> ah, damn it. <sighs> Here you go, Mom. Mom? She got a good funeral. I'm sure your mother's happy now. You gotta be tired, huh, David? You okay? She told me she was happy in the end. I'm gonna live without blaming myself. Those words are going to help a lot. It's fine if I have to suffer. I could be smiling in the end. David. Arian, why it? Oh my god! Oh my god! Shirley, why are you? Hey, Shirley, I still ain't forgiving you. How dare you give David the cold show? <laughs> him, we are going. Okay, okay, stop pinching me. Oh, Jesus. What a turn of events. David, I heard about your mother. So you brought flowers, Shirley. Mom always liked you, so I bet she's glad. Thanks. David, I was uneasy. I got unsure of where I was going, worried the road I was walking would be full of twists and turns. So I took it out on you and your kindness. You never really let me down, but how did I repay you? I'm really the worst of the worst. I'm sorry. Maybe this is too late, but... David? If it's okay with you, would you like to... David? Oh, I'm sorry. Please don't cry. Oh, I'm not sad. I'm just... Even though my dreams were crushed and I just lost my only family, I'm just so happy you came back. It's okay, Shirley. However off-kilter things get, we can always set them straight. That's what we want. 
Oh my god. David. You know what I think? A crooked man had a crooked body and only crooked things. I'm sure he was happy living in his crooked house. to see you again. Until then, rest in peace. Good end. Bye bye, Blackbird. <laughs> oh my god, it was from software. Damn! Uh, Damn, what holy an ending. Holy crap. Oh. What a story. Jesus. God, they really pulled out all the fucking emotional stops at the end. That was wild. And the shit with his mother and... I think I was so set on, like, there being some twist ending or something, which, to be honest, I think we were right, but not, not fully. In ways. In ways. Yeah, in I some think ways. We were Duke's crooked man, weren't we? Like, we were an upset, sad person, you know, with all of his torture and pain and all of that stuff. And we were following him wherever he went. And in the end, where our crooked man did not get to us... We, we got to him, you know, and he wound up taking his own life. I think that might just sort of be what's implied. Um, oh, oh, thank you for playing the crooked man. Congrats on the good ending. Yay. Uh, a bonus area. You'll lose access if you quit. So I recommend making a save. You can also begin a second playthrough here. Oh, cool. All right. Nice. Oh, and I mean, player is the crooked like man. So, yeah. Oh. What does this say? Nora, thank you for the Akaspa. Oh my. About the series. This ends the Crooked Man, but the series continues with the Sandman, the Boogie Man, the Boogie Man, and the Hanged Man. Please try them out if you like. Oh nice. Yay. This is David's eternal reward. Being trapped in the void. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! You begin a second playthrough on the title screen. Story, battles, and branches won't change, but some events toward the end will. Give it a shot if you want. Uh, return to title. All right. <sighs> Thank you guys ever so much for having come out and watched us experience this lovely, lovely game. Um, I... Th mm, God, that was a lot. That was really cool. Mm. Christ. I feel so much was revealed in that ending. I don't really know what to even say about it. It's just sort of like, I felt like I was being hit with like, bah, 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 you know, just back and forth information. Yeah. And then at the end, Shirley came back and oh my God. That's the only part I'm a little bit torn on about the story. I adore I... almost everything, but maybe it's just my like for depressing things. Like I feel when things like just got sort of got patched up like that that That's was a... yeah i i have to kind of agree i feel like it sort of went out of its way to make everything okay when it not being okay would have been fine you know yeah because life isn't always okay there isn't always like a silver lining but that's okay the good ending if you if you axe the bit with shirley the good ending would have been him not killing himself and then also visiting Duke's grave, you know. I think yeah, that in deciding itself, to to choose mm, life essentially. Very melancholy, but also sort of a, a living example of I, you know, I won't let myself and those I love down in the way that he did, but I'm also going to honor his memory, you know. Whereas you know, it's sort of maybe a little bit self congratulatory at the end when it sort of is like, oh, and Shirley's back, whoa. But then I guess, yeah. 
I guess after having gone through everything and then seeing his mother and then his mum dying immediately was quite a lot. Um, and then maybe he needed a bit of a bit of happiness. But other than that, you know, I guess if anything, it would have been a testament to his strength if yeah, nothing good happened even and if, he stayed alive. Yeah, even if there isn't a sil silver, silver lining to things, which in life, there's not always a silver lining to anything. Still deciding to choose life would been would have been such a powerful message to send. That's such a good way of putting it, honestly. Such a good way of saying it. Yeah, I really, I really can't sum it up any better. I think that would have been a better message is just no matter what happens, stay alive. And so true, King. Because this life is worth living, you know? Yeah, of course it is. There's so much there's so much cool shit going on. Even if even if shit gets bad, you know. There you go. But anyway. I was about, I was about to make this extremely cheesy do it you, you sure you want me to do this do it don't be afraid and live your life because this world is it's full, full of, hope. of hope yeah baby <laughs> oh yeah remember the world is full of hope and if you ever feel as though there's nothing good in life you might just find someone who smell you're tempted by. Like a oh. bee. And I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. All right, everybody. That was the Crooked Man. I am going to go process that for the next three days. And um, uh, later on, um, me and... Uh, is the thing still happening later? I believe it is, unless um, something comes up. Unless something comes up. We are going to be on Mr.'s channel for a lovely collab later on tonight. So make sure to tune in for that. Thank you for coming, everybody, and I can't wait to see you all for that in a couple of hours. So thank you all for coming. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye.